Hey guys, um, right now I'm just going to be doing a, uh, a review on the um, NVIDIA GTX 480. Um, I'm also going to be doing a review on how it affects um, playback in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 with the new Mercury playback engine. Um, this is my editing station right here, um, and so I'll be showing you on here what uh, the card is capable of. Alright guys, so I'll just show you the uh, system we're going to be uh, editing on today. Um, starting off the outside, we've got an Antec P183 case um, that all the parts are housed in. We're looking at a Corsair 750 watt power supply. Um, the main OS, um, I'm running Windows 7 64 bit um, Ultimate, um, is running off the Kingston 64 gig SSD drive. And then I have a 750 gig, 1000 gig, and a 1.5 uh, terabyte um, hard drive three of them in the back there so for a total of about one or sorry three and a half terabytes of space um, the what I bought today was a PNY um, GTX 480 as you can see there very good looking card quite large I had to remove one of my tabs here because it wouldn't fit sideways um, we've got a uh, in, uh, Intel 730 sorry yeah i7-930 running at 3 GHz. Um, this is Corsair's H50 water cooling unit. Self-contained, works pretty well. And 6 gigs of Corsair DDR3 RAM um, running at about 1600 MHz and a simple DVD burner up there in the corner. Um, this is all housed on a Gigabyte uh, X58 G UD3 motherboard. I think I said that right. Alright guys, so basically what I've got here is a, uh, a simple um, clip for my camera. Um, the camera I uh, shot these clips with is a Sony um, HDR SR11. Basically, Sony Handycam shoots AVC HD um, native and 1080i footage. Um, as we all know, native AVC HD is notoriously, notoriously um, hard to edit with. Um, it's very clunky codec, um, very high compression and uh, overall it's very hard for the CPU to decode it while you're editing. So that's what I'm going to be using today because as far as I can, well, besides RED 4K uh, R3Ds, um, this is the hardest codec to edit with as far as I know. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, so I've got the CPU um, right here, the CPU usage. That little bar there is going to tell us uh, how much CPU we're using. So for now I'm going to go to the project settings general and turn off our GPU acceleration so we're using software only All right. Um, now this is going to be playing back just a straight up clip no um, no uh, sorry no um, color correction no nothing just a straight native clip and you can see here once it gets going here that it's going to start playing back pretty smoothly well it's playing real time 29.97 frames a second no problems whatsoever. And the CPU is being used about 25%, which is not bad at all. So now I'll try and stress the CPU by adding some color correction to this. So I'll take this clip, throw on some curves, and uh, make this tough. So we'll just add a simple, weird color correction. Not going to look good. Um, take a bit of that green over there. Put the blue a little bit. So, simple color correction, nothing fancy, um, just using RGB curves here. And as you can see here, uh, by this little block, if you can see my mouse there, here it is. Uh, this little block right up here, that means that um, this effect is going to be accelerated by the GPU. But right now, we are again, we're running in software mode. We're not using the GPU at all, at all for this. So we're going to watch the CPU usage here. This is uh, playing back now, and we'll see how this goes. CPU usage immediately hits 100% on all uh, of the eight threads. Um, this is a four core CPU, running with two threads each. And you can see how terribly that plays back um, and how terrible my color correcting scales are. So you can see. Um, now I will go ahead and um, enable the GPU. This way we'll be able to um, see how much of a difference this makes. So Mercury playback engine GPU acceleration, okay. Delete the previous previews. Go back to the beginning of the clip. 
and we're going to watch the CPU usage here. We'll see how high it gets. We'll play this back. 20% or so, 18%. And the clip is playing back absolutely flawlessly. Um, it's not playing back on here for some reason. So remember, this is just um, a native AVC HD clip with some heavy color correction. CPU has a very tough time playing it back by itself. But with the GPU, there we go, it's uh, playing back absolutely smoothly. Um, no need to wait for render times, anything like that. And the CPU is sitting at around 20% usage, which is absolutely amazing. So um, now I've got to do something that's a lot more stressing on the CPU. Um, I've got another sequence here. This is four streams, native ACCHD. Um, these are all running at full res, mind you. This is a 1920 by 1080 workflow. These are all 1920 clips. Um, these ones are all color corrected, each one. And like I said, we'll show you the uh, project settings here. We'll turn off the GPU acceleration, go software only. And now we're going to try and play this back. CPU usage immediately hits 100%. You can see it has a very hard time playing this back. So I will go back to the middle there, or the beginning, turn on the GPU acceleration. Remember this is the GTX 480 I'm using, um, installed like an hour ago. It's completely bone stock, no overclocking, no nothing like that. Um, we'll go back to the beginning clip and you'll see here um, how well this works. The CPU is sitting at 20%. Um, hardly being used. The GPU is doing all of the work right now. Remember, those are four 1080p native AVC HD clips. No, uh, no pre-rendering. No, nothing like that. This is all um, this is color corrected straight from the editor, and you can see how well that's running. Um, even uh, taking the thing here and go like this, speed things up. And you can see how well it works. So that gives you a pretty good introduction to how well this actually works. Um, now scrubbing, I can say, is actually quite quite good. And remember, we're scrubbing four color corrected clips here. Um, you know, it's not absolutely immaculate, but again, my hard drives aren't terribly quick. Um, that really shows you how much power there is in this new Mercury playback that uses CUDA. Um, I had an ATI card previous to this and uh, I had to go pick this up because of this. Um, so that gives you an idea of how well that runs and um, yeah, anything, transitions, video effects, um, as many streams as you want as long as uh, Adobe um, supports the uh, card and how many streams you want to do. Um, they just released support for the GTX 285. It was supported before but now you can do more than three streams. Um, this card isn't even on their uh, officially supported list. Um, I had to go into Adobe Files and edit a file that said this card was now supported. Um, but yeah, you can see how well this works now. Um, and I'm very happy with it, very pleased. So uh, yeah. All right guys, so that's been my review of the uh, GTX 480 by NVIDIA. Um, I think it's a great card for video editing if you're willing to take advantage of the uh, Adobe Mercury playback engine with CUDA. Um, that's kind of a new technology that just came out and uh, as far as I can tell it's going to be massively helpful um, in my video editing um, and you know just be speeding things up in general um, and not having to worry about render times and oh I can't play this back for the client right now because uh, it's going to take too long it's going to look jittery. Um, you know this has been my first review um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I, I know I didn't go into you know massive specs of the card and how cool does it run, um, what well, other games that it runs, um, things like that, because frankly I don't really care if it runs at 70 degrees Celsius or if it runs at 65 um, UPKIA, as long as it runs and it seems to be doing that quite well. Um, it's not terribly loud either, um, while I was playing the game it never increased the fan volume at all. Um, and apart from that, uh, you know, I think it's a good investment as long as you're willing to uh, 
you know, deal with the price dropping, which it will probably tomorrow because I bought it today. It'll probably drop to like two hundred dollars tomorrow, because um, that's just how it's, that's how it goes. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be doing more videos like this and so on. Um, this can also be covered as my uh, new update. I mean, you can see in my previous videos uh, the previous systems I've had and owned and operated. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. This has been uh, Jeremy signing out.